Well, hi everyone. I'm just going to do a really quick um, programming on this radio, uh, the Baofang BF18H that I have here. It seems as though it's not a very well known model. Um, it only cost me about, um, oh, what was it? I think it was about 20 or 25 uh, US dollars. Uh, but that doesn't include the shipping, so um, that, that's roughly how much the radio cost me anyway. And there have been a few people saying that they don't know this radio, they haven't seen it. So, and I managed to get a hold of the CPS software. Uh, originally they sent me the CPS software, which is in Chinese, which uh, wasn't pretty much any good to me. I'm sure I could have worked my way around it, but I preferred to actually read what I'm doing instead of guessing. Uh, and eventually they give me the English CPS. So first of all, I'm just going to load up the CPS software. And uh, no, at the minute the BF18, or the, in this case the BF18H, also known as the UV18H, is not currently supported by chip. So I'm just going to fire up the CPS for this radio. <clears throat> right. Um, First of all, thing you might notice straight away is this, the model. Now it says UV18 Pro. And if you look, there's UV17 Pro, 19, 20, 21 and 22. So I've never seen any 22 around. I've seen, I've actually got a UV21 here was actually sold to me as a UV21 Pro but from what I've been looking at so far which might change in the future the UV21 Pro doesn't seem to exist and the radio I was actually sent is UV21R um, anyway I'm going slightly off topic here let um, me have to have another look I would also show you that um, the bands that this one covers this is uh, this is the transmitting bands apparently that one I'm not too sure about, but anyway, um, it's also got receiving on airband and FM as well. And there's another one, I can't remember what the other one is. Anyway, um, so you've got the zone information, the channel information. Inside here you've got a VFO, and then you have radio functions inside here. Anyway, so let's uh, close all this off to begin with, and let's actually get the radio turned on and plugged into the CPS. Frequency mode. <laughs> that voice still makes me laugh. Frequency mode. Anyway, let's get my trusty cable plugged in. Right, now it is, let's have a look for the port. And this is on port five. That's all you have to do, as per usual, to UV18, and we read it, and start. Okay, that doesn't take very long at all. So first of all, let's go to the channel information. And there is one channel in zone 1, which is a VHF, I mean UHF. I think there's another one in as well. No, let's go back to the bank one next. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's in the 200 megahertz, 1.25 meter. It's in bank number two or zone number two. So this has zones. You may have noticed at the top here, if you can read, I'll try and make it focus. Uh, it doesn't want to focus on it. Ooh. Well, that bar on the top that actually says zone 1. Um, so if we go to, let's go to bank 1, uh, there is no cut and paste option. So anything you type into here has to be done manually. Um, but let's, let's leave those out for the moment and let's go to the windows 
and VF4 mode. So this is if you put it in VF4 mode. If I put it into if the top channel goes into VF4 mode, it'll go to 124.6, and if the I put the bottom one in VF4 mode, it goes to 128.6. As you can see, that's in VF4 mode. This is the um, YVR approach frequency on AM. You can see the AM there. Uh, this one's in channel number mode. Uh, anyway, back to the screen. You've got the usuals. RxQTs, um, high power, low power, medium. Oops. Um, narrow. Stepping, the usual sort of stuff. Uh, busy, busy on, push your talk ID on off. Uh, next bit is radio function. Okay, radio function. Um, so you got SQL, TOT, power save mode. Then you've got alarm mode, standby, pilot tone, side tone, logo. You can either have it set as the logo when it turns on or the battery voltage. You can have the beep on when you're pushing and pressing the keypad. Roger can be on or off, usually have that turned off, it's quite annoying. And uh, you've got the language, and you've got the carriers again, the three different types of, um, sorry not carriers, the three different types of scan mode. Alarm mode, never used it yet. Sound alarm, never used it yet, I don't believe I have. Uh, this is where you can turn enable, <laughs> with a double L, um, enable and disable the FM function on this uh, radio. Key lock off, quit timer, backlight, I've got the backlight turned on again just to try and stop the uh, cam, the phone camera here from trying uh, focusing in and out. Uh, delay is QT, so short key, oh sorry the S key number two is as short as the FM. That is the top one there. Uh, where was I? This is where you can tell to display the frequency, the name, or the channel number. That's in channel, what Merc mode it's in. It's in VF4 or channel mode. Same thing again for the B channel. Uh, what have we got here? Bring new resets, Fox on, off. Okay, and at the bottom of here, I got a bit excited when I saw this. But this model does not have GPS function. So the UV, so the BF18H does not have um, GPS function, but I do believe it seems as though this program will do all the pros. Now there are pros with Pro and GPS and GPS off and on. Anyway, the function, the option is still here in the software. Just in this case for this radio, it's not going to make any difference at all. So you got GPS on and off, and you got different GPS modes. Now, I'm not too sure. What be beard beard is uh, maybe some a bit out of touch and then there's GPS plus that. So there's no point in me turning this on because it just doesn't work anyway on this radio. And finally we've got the DTMFs which is the usual you can set up the DTFM DTMF codes depending on what you want to set them up as. Um okay Let's close out of these. I don't really want to mess around with any of these at the minute. So let's close that and get rid of that. So, yeah, we're just going to be programming in two channels, basically. That's that's all we're going to do on this one. So it's going to bring up the repeater book. I've done a for North Vancouver. That is not my location, by the way. So it's just a general location. 15 miles, bands 2 meter, 1.25 and 70 centimeters on FM. So let's pick my, where is it, where's the one I normally connect to, it has a pretty big footprint in, uh, in North Vancouver, where are you, RPT, there it is, so it's this one, so this is V7 RPT, so the downlink, 
So down link is receive. So let's just get rid of this one that's in here. It's, it doesn't click account towards anything over here anyway. So I'm going to put that in. And there we transmit frequency. TX. There's tones, uplink tone. Now this, though it's not listed on here, it's actually uplink and a downlink tone. You don't often get tones on the downlink, but this one it is. Uh, 6.5. And that one. Uh, okay, scan add. Do I have to I'll maybe it's going to the scanning function later on. It's uh, very late here. Um, yeah, <laughs> very late. Um, okay, BSS, the usual sort of extra bits and bobs, push it over at BCL name. Okay, so we put the name in here, right at the very end, which will be V7RPT. Paste that into here. Okay, we'll put another one in. Let's go back. Let's pick um, 200 megahertz one. Let's have a look. FM and all. Oh, here's one. So this is a 1.25 meter, so the downlink is 224.3. So let's receive frequency 224.3 and then we have uh, receive, nope, there we go, and oh, that dropped out for some reason, 136.5. Okay, so let's go back into here. I don't know if this is required as a downlink tool or not, so I'll just put it as the uplink. So it's transmission, yes. Okay. So that's 146. 146. Okay, but let's put it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's put a VHF, well, I mean, sorry, a UHF channel in. Uh, oh, may as well go all the ones pretty close by. So is this one, which is, there's a down link. C frequency. Transmit. Mm. Yep, and tone of one thirty six point five uplink. That's one thirty six point five. Okay, oh, I forgot to put the other one's name in. So we have oh they're all the same so it's the same tower we're going to be hitting so it's uh, VHF oh no let's just put uh, which one's this one let's put two meters oh for god's sake <laughs> right 1.25 meters and 70 centimeters and just for giggles we will put in Vancouver International Airport approach frequency which is 128.6 megahertz so put that in there 126 point huh oh Huh. 126.8. Now then, 
then that's interesting. I won't let me say that. Hmm. I'll kind of have to read up on that one a bit more. Why won't it let me set it? I can do it in VFO mode, but I can't save it as a channel. Interesting. Oh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe one of you guys could jump on and say what I could be missing. Let's try it again. 126 point... Sorry, 128.6... Zero, 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 zero. Tab away. Well, oh, frequency is error. Well, frequency is error. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's interesting. It doesn't seem to want to let me save that one as a frequency. Anyway, so let's see. We've got those programmed in. Let's go back into this, uh, to the radio function and I'm going to tell the the A channel it's in channel mode but I want it to display as in name of the channel. So this top band here should go into channel name mode when it when the program is got in. So let's uh, yeah let's upload that to the radio and see what happens. Uh, oh yes, just use this. Right. And start. Hmm. Okay, let's put it in. Oh. It crashed. Great. Let's fire it up again. Okay, let's read from the radio. Oh no, sorry, when you do this, it you have to reset the um, COM port again. Yes, it's crashed again. Okay. Uh, both myself and my sister are a bit tired. So it's got settings, port, COM, COM5. Read from the radio, start. It's reading from the radio, click OK. OK, so it did save the information. Settings, uh, radio function, channel, oh. Put it back to name again. And then let's write it again. OK. OK, finish, click OK. Ah, there we go, it's actually showing it up this time. B7 RPT, as you can see on the top there. Um, so it has put it in. So let's have a look at the... I'm just going to move the camera around a bit. Okay, what have we got here? So... It's not what I keep picking up, it's it's almost broadcasting. You can find out who owns that one. Two. So there's the 1.25. One. And the one meter. I mean, it's, oh my god, two meters, sorry. Now if I switch across down to here, this is where, yeah, if you remember just two minutes ago, they wouldn't let me save this information. So it's in VFO mode when it allows you to save that so I'm gonna try and program this channel 128.6 enter okay uh, let's have a look what's channel MDF oh right okay direction oh right okay channel memory so let's see if this is channel 10. Enter. So I've got it saved as channel 10, maybe? So let's switch. 
Ah, oh. that's weird. Okay, you can save it in VFO mode onto the radio and save it as a channel. But for some reason the software wouldn't let me save it in the software as a channel. Hmm. Okay, well, at least that's working. Now there are other functions in this which I'm looking forward to testing, like for example the scan function. Oh, the bank, by the way, is just the different zones. Uh, the scan function, if we look at this, frequency ranger. <laughs> this is where you type in what range you would like it to scan, and then <clears throat> you set it to switch how you want it to scan, carry a time or search. And then once you've done that, the scan button, which is this one on the keypad, or it's one if you program the side button, it's one of those ones. But anyway, I'm going to this one. See, it's scanning by uh, frequency increments there, so... Anyway, let's push and hold that and scan, turn it off. Scan off. So if we go back into the scan again... Frequency ranger, scan mode, scan subcode. So you can tell it to scan for CTCSS on the channel that you're on. So... I'm sure you guys have seen this before, so you're listening to a particular frequency and you set this away and it'll it'll find and lock the um the CTCSS code which is being used at that time. Exactly the same with DCS as well. And then you can also tell to scan the memory all encoded decode. I'm not too sure what that's about yet, but I will get there. Uh, I think that's all the functions of the scan, so that's pretty cool. Radio settings, yeah, I've got all them in there as well. Um, just as a thing, I just want to see how the software reads this now, since we've actually got a saved a channel. Channel number 10 has now been saved as um, an AM frequency, since it wouldn't let us save it in the software itself. How about now? Let's see what it's, how it sees it now. So let's... Uh, Let's read in from the radio. Interesting. Let's put it in there now. Oh, well, look at that. You still can't. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, it still doesn't like it. But if I put YVR, A, P, R for approach, maybe, um, or APP, or whatever, APP, and let's see if it'll let us write, if we move away, from, let's just do that, but it won't let you make, leave that, free, oh, wow, that is weird, okay, that's most obviously like um, a CPS programming error. So let's upload that with its actual name. Let's see if it actually uploads or if it'll crash. Oh, okay, it worked. And there we go. Yeah, it's programmed to the YVR app. Interesting. So now if I use the scan button when we're in channel mode and where this one is the... Yeah, this one's the monitoring one, or the monitored one, sorry, or selected. Hmm. Oh, damn it. <laughs> right. Ten. Ah, okay. Well, let me scan that for some reason. Uh, I'll have to go through the scanning functions anyway. So if I change One. to... This one, I scan. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Well, let me scan it. Monitor. 
Oops. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> um, there's obviously a function I'm missing here when you scan. Oh, hold on a sec, let's go to scanning, um, scan memory, all. Nope, won't let me do it. Okay, I will uh, work out how to do the scanning at a later time, and yeah, I'll let you know, let you guys know what I ah. Okay, let's try one more thing. I'm probably getting a bit sick of me now. Let's just plug this in. <clears throat> Quickly jump across back to here. Gonna add it. Add it. Add it, add it, and then write. Okay, so let's unplug now and see if it'll scan. Oh, there we go. That's that one that's always transmitting again, so let's continue. Yeah. Okay, so that works. Okay, so you have to press that button again, I think. Scan off. Okay. So. I shall do another video once I've gone through some of the other functions. Maybe show you the um, CTCSS scanning. Unlocking and stuff like that. Uh, anyway. So that is a quick programming guide on the Baofeng. BF18H, also known as the UV18H. Okay, have a good night everybody. Seven threes.